Hi everyone, welcome to my March wrap up and my April TBR video. So again, I know last month in February I didn't read a huge amount of books. I was kind of in a bit of a slump in February and this month again I didn't read a huge amount of books. I did read a fair few, well I say that, I read six which is better than nothing. I wasn't reading nothing, I just feel like towards the end of the month there's been one book which has been taking me forever to get through but I will explain that when I get to it. This month I managed to listen to two audiobooks. I read two books on my Kindle and two physical books. So I'm going to start off with the two physical books that I read this month. I read Never Never by Colleen Hoover and this was a disappointment because I love Colleen Hoover's stories and her writing and everything. I just find them so quick and easy to get through. I know it's an unpopular opinion, lots of people don't like her anymore and don't like her books and stuff but, but yeah, normally I do quite enjoy her books. This book was the worst one I've read by her. But this one was also by Taryn Fisher. It was written by both Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. And this book's basically just about a couple. They're like, it's like a YA book, so they're like at school and stuff still, um, that sort of age. Charlie and Silas, and they they wake up, both wake up one morning and their memory is completely gone. Like they don't remember who they are, they don't remember who any of their family, they don't remember what's happened and by the seams of it something weird had happened the night before because there was mud in this guy's bed um, and like weird things like that. So the whole book is basically them just trying to figure out why they're in this relationship together, what their life is, what's been going on and that sort of thing and just figuring out who they are. But also within this book they do keep losing their memories again every 24 hours I think it was or every 48 hours or something like that. They keep losing their memory again and I don't know, it was okay, like I feel like it was good enough to like keep me reading it but at the same time there was just um, a lot of unanswered questions in this book. Like you don't ever fully find out, you don't find out why they lost their memory really and all that kind of thing. So it's just a little bit strange. I feel like I needed more answers. Um, it just left me feeling a little bit weird, this book. So I wasn't a huge fan. So anyway, I ended up giving this book a two stars. I think it was the lowest book for me this month. I just, yeah, didn't really enjoy it, but, and it was just left me feeling very confused. Another physical book that I read this month was Caught by Harlan Coben. So recently I'd watched his TV, like new TV series adaptation of one of his books, which was called Fool Me Once, I think. Um, and I really enjoyed that TV series. So I thought I'll give one of his books a go now um, and see how that is. I'd heard good reviews about this one on Goodreads. Like I looked it up and there was good reviews and stuff, but I was quite disappointed. Again, I like, I, it was intriguing enough to keep me reading it again. I wanted to know what was going to happen and stuff like that. It's kind of like a mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery and I can't really explain the plot because one, I can't remember and two, it was quite confusing. I remember it was quite confusing to explain anyway. So it was quite difficult to explain what was going on because there were so many characters in this book. I feel like it would have worked so much better as a TV series just because then you can kind of put a face to each character but when I was reading the book I was coming across characters and I was like who actually is this like there was chapters on these pet characters and I was like I don't know who they are so I don't care about them I don't know who they are I don't really know what's going on obviously I understood the main kind of premise of the book and the main kind of idea of what was going on but there's just a lot of characters I was a bit confused and it did take me a while to get through this as well so this month I feel like I've just not read very good books I feel like I've just been quite disappointed with what I've been reading which is probably why I've not been motivated to read more so I need a really good book to like get me out of this little funk and yeah I just need to read some good books now. But anyway I ended up giving this a three stars because it was a good read and I enjoyed the plot line of it but it was just quite confusing it took me a while to get through so it wasn't my favourite. I would recommend it if you like mysteries and you don't mind a lot of characters but if you get confused easily by that sort of thing then probably wouldn't recommend. And then the two audiobooks that I listened to was the final book in the Improbable Meet to Cute series that little book collection which is all written by different um, authors they're all just little novellas so I listened to the last one by audio. This was Royal Valentine by Soraya Wilson. I'd never read anything by this author before and if I'm honest with you I can't really remember this book that much. I read it, I listened to this one right at the beginning of the month um, and I can't really remember what went on with it. Got a little Olive come to join me. Hey baby. Yeah, I can't really remember it entirely what this book was about. I know each of these little novellas are about a couple meeting on Valentine's Day or like um, two people meeting on Valentine's Day who obviously like start a little romance. Um, and all I remember is this was the main female character was a princess and the other guy, I think he was like Scottish or something. And they, she didn't want to be, 
she didn't want to tell him who she was and stuff and then it, there's like a plot twist kind of thing that I remember and um, that's all I really remember about it. It was okay, it wasn't one of my favourites in this collection, I gave it a 2.75. Um, it was good enough, just very quick, easy to listen to, so yeah, that one was okay. And then I also listened to the audiobook Vox by Christina Doucher and this was an interesting one. I did actually quite enjoy this because I love concepts like this. It's basically, it reminded me kind of of The Handmaid's Tale. I've not read the book of The Handmaid's Tale but I've watched the TV series and it kind of gave me the same sort of vibes. Um, it's basically where it's like set kind of in the future I think. The book was based in America and it's sort of where women have to, like men overpower women pretty much and women aren't allowed to speak. Well they can speak but they only have a limit of 100 words a day. They have this like wrist watch thing which is like their wrist counter which is like their word counter and if they go up to these 100 words a day the watch will send like electric impulses into their body and cause them a lot of pain and I think the more words you speak over the limit the more painful it is and it's like unbearable and stuff like that so it's really awful um a woman can't work and that sort of thing and the story focuses around this one woman who she was she was originally able to do all these things before the rules were brought in so she knew what it was like to live being able to speak and where women could work and stuff and then she couldn't do these things anymore so obviously it was must be absolutely awful i can't imagine living like that and she also has a really young daughter so she's trying to teach her daughter not to talk as well which is horrible because children don't understand and her, even her little child has to wear this wrist counter thing for words it's just awful the concept of this book was so interesting i love reading books like this because it just kind of makes you think and appreciate like how lucky you are to be able to act like women nowadays can actually speak and stuff like we're not at that point. I know things aren't always exactly how they should be but that's a story for another day. Um, and I, yeah I did really enjoy this book. I gave it a 3.75 stars which is quite a good rating but I feel like what let it down is I feel like the ending was very very rushed and I feel like they could have done a bit more with the story um, a bit more with that concept. They probably could have just done something a little bit more creative but it was really good and really interesting. If you like that sort of thing then yeah definitely give this one a go. And on my Kindle I read I read Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshi Kazu Kawaguchi I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah this is sort of the first first book in a series and each book has like a few kind of mini stories. They do have characters that like intertwine with each other and stuff like it's basically about this coffee shop um where there's this one specific seat you can sit in and you can go back into the past but it turns out that you can't change if you sit in that chair and go back to the past you can't actually change anything so nothing you do in the past will affect affect your future pretty much and the main characters like the ones that run the coffee shop and come in all the time and stuff they they reoccur in each little story but there are other characters that come in throughout the mini stories as well. And the book's called Before the Coffee Gets Cold because they have to come back to the like current timeline before the coffee gets cold. Otherwise they basically turn into some sort of like, not demon, but they turn into, I can't remember what they turn into. They turn into something, some kind of ghost, I think. And this book was cute. It wasn't, I feel like the writing style maybe wasn't for me. And I know this is a translated fiction. I think it was originally written in Japanese or something. So it's translated to English. So that obviously affects the style of the writing. And also I found it a little bit confusing because all their names are obviously like Japanese kind of names. And I found some of them quite similar. So it's a little bit confusing to me, but that's nothing, no fault of the book because obviously it's based in Japan and that sort of thing but yeah it's just for me I'm not used to reading things like that so I was kind of a little bit confused with the names and stuff but it was a very cute book um, and it was enjoyable I sort of read bits of this book before I went to bed so it was just quite cozy like a little bit like that to read before I go to sleep so I ended up giving this three stars I don't think I'll be continuing with the series just because it didn't like grip me enough but it was a very cute read and as I said just a good one to read before bed and another book that I read on my kindle and I also sort of did listen to the audiobook at the same time as reading on my kindle of this one because I like doing that sometimes and also this book had like multiple narrators for multiple characters so it kind of made sense to listen to the audiobook it kind of made it a bit more immersive and that is The Passengers by John Mars and this book was something again very very unique it's where there's a world where self-driving cars are everywhere there's like different levels of self-driving cars and I think this book's based around level five self-driving cars so they do absolutely everything for you you just sit in the car 
tell it where you want it to take you and job's done. And also there's things called like smart windscreens and stuff. So the windscreen of the car, when you sit in the car, you can like go on your social media and it shows up on the windscreen. Like you can watch Netflix and TV on the windscreen. So it's all just very high tech. Um, and I kind of hope that this doesn't become a reality because it's just a little bit much. I've got a video coming out, I think next Sunday, which will go into more depth about this book. So if you want to check that out, please do. But I did really enjoy this concept and the audiobook I highly recommend because also there's like at the beginning of each chapter there's like a little news article or something like that and there's like different voices and sounds and stuff so it's yeah it just makes the experience really good and anyway I didn't even say what this book was actually about apart from the fact that it's about self-driving cars but it's basically about this hacker that hacks into some of these self-driving cars and he's planning to make um, I think there's like seven cars or something he's planning to make them all collide in a couple hours and kill these people and there's also like more point of views from the government who are trying to stop him from doing this stuff and I don't know you'd have to kind of read it to understand like what I'm talking about I'm really bad at explaining books so I don't know why I have a book tube because I'm so bad at explaining books but I just like talking about them and I ended up giving this one a 4.25 star so it was my highest rated book of the month. All the other books that I read this month were just a bit disappointing. I wasn't hugely into any of the books that I was reading but Passengers by John Mars I did really enjoy so I do recommend this one if you like sort of kind of things set in the future, very techy, um, very, very different as well. It's really good. And then also I'm currently reading Bride by Ali Hazelwood, which I am filming a vlog for as well, which is the same vlog that will be up next Sunday, um, which is basically a video about me trying to finish my TBR of the month, which, spoiler, is a bit of a fail because it's basically the end of the month now and I haven't finished three of the books that are on my TBR. Yeah, I'm currently reading Bride by Ali Hazelwood and I'm struggling to get through this. I'm just not invested in this either so I think what I might do this afternoon is put the audiobook on. I think I'm gonna while I'm doing some work from home I'm gonna try and listen to some of it as an audiobook and try and get through some of it because I don't know the concept of this is good but I just feel like it's very slow not a lot is happening um I kind of just want it to get a move on really but I probably will end up finishing this by the end of the month but I will let you know my final thoughts in April's wrap up because I'm filming this wrap up a few days early before the end of the month. But I'm not even halfway which is depressing but I will get through it but I had really high hopes for this book so it's kind of sad but it is what it is. So that's everything that I've read this month and then I'm just going to quickly go through a few of the books that I want to read in April. It's not like a proper TBR because I've got a few videos that, well I've got one specific video that I want to film which is the like reading the highest and lowest rated book on your TBR and I won't find out what those books are until I film that video so I can't really put them on the TBR and also it might be a little bit of a spoiler for the video so I don't want to do that. But anyway I'm just going to go through I think three books that I definitely want to get to during April as well as those ones and the first book is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare and this was on my TBR for March and I didn't get to it and this has been on multiple TBRs before I just didn't get to it because I was taking ages to get through like Bride by Ali Hazelwood and some other ones it just took me ages to read this month so I'm hoping to actually get to this in April. I'm going to try my best but I also do have another really thick book on my TBR for April that I want to get to so whether I will or not we will see but I really really do want to because I want to know how this series ends and I really enjoy Cassandra Clare's books there's not been a single one of her books that I've not liked so yeah I don't know why I don't just do it but I will get to it. This is the other really thick book that I want to get to in April and that's I Am Pilgrim by Terry Hayes and if I'm honest with you I have absolutely no idea what this is about apart from I think it's some sort of like thriller kind of thing I'm not too sure maybe a mystery or thriller let me actually read the back a young woman murdered in a rundown Manhattan hotel a father publicly beheaded in the blistering sun of Saudi Arabia a man's eyes stolen from his living body as he leaves a secret Syrian research laboratory Smouldering human remains on a mountainside on Hindu Kush. A plot to commit an appalling crime against humanity. One thread that binds them all. One man to take the journey. Pilgrim. Sounds very different to anything I've read, but it sounds like it sounds intriguing. And one of my friends actually recommended this to me and said it was literally one of the best books she ever read. So that makes me have quite high expectations for this, but I will form my own opinion. But it is a very big book. But if it's good, I will fly through it. So I really hope I enjoy this because I'm in need of a really good book that just grips me. So fingers crossed that this one does that for me. So there, that's another one that I want to get to. Another book that I want to get to is one that my mum randomly picked up somewhere, which is called Trespasses by Louise Kennedy. And again, absolutely not a clue what this is about, but I do want to get to it. 
um, because it's been sat on my shelf and I need to give it back to her but I just kind of want to get to it. It's quite a short one so hopefully this won't take me too long. I think it's just less than 300 pages which is nice. So a nice quick read I hope. There's nothing special about the day Kushla meets Michael, a married protestant from Belfast in the pub owned by her family. But here in 1970s Ireland love is never far from violence and this encounter will change both of their lives forever. So yeah that sounds like the kind of thing I'd probably enjoy. So I would hopefully give this a month. Um, a month. I'll hopefully give this one a go in April, maybe like in between reading these two because these are two thick books. It'd be nice to have quite a little quick one in the middle. So they're the ones that I wanna get to in April for sure. That's pretty much it for this video. I don't have anything else to really talk about. Um, I didn't read a huge amount this month, but I, so that's why I thought I'd kind of combine this short little TBR with the wrap up just to kind of make it a little bit of a longer video. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have read any of these books and motivate me to read them, please, because I need all motivation possible. And next Sunday, there will be a video coming out, which is about me trying to finish my TBR. So it, it does cover some of the books that I talked about in this video. Plus, it will cover me finishing Bride by Ali Hazelwood, so I can let you know my final thoughts in depth in that video. Please subscribe if you aren't already, I would really appreciate it, and please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I hope to see you next Sunday for that video. Bye, thanks for watching.